In this tutorial, we're going to play with Photoshop's filter called Vanishing Point, which allows you to create a perspective around an object, which means you can take a logo of an item and put it onto a product mock-up, be it a pillow, a wall, a billboard. In this case, we are going to make dirty cow milk. First thing you need to do is go into Photoshop or into Canvas, go to your assignments, grab the carton only original PSD and dirtycow.png and open those in Photoshop. Once you've got that in Photoshop, you'll see that Dirty Cow is our logo and our carton only is what we're going to be wrapping it onto. Let's go ahead and switch to our Dirty Cow. First thing we need to do with our Dirty Cow is make a copy of just the image here, not the whole square. We want just the image itself. So we're going to go ahead and do Command or Control and click the layer do it in the little square right here and you'll get the dancing ants around the different elements of our logo. We're then going to do a control C to copy that to our pasteboard. Let's go ahead and go to our carton. First thing we want to do is add another layer. So we go down here to our post-it note, create a new layer because our vanishing point needs to go on to something above that layer. Next thing we're going to do is go to filter and vanishing point. Vanishing Point is going to give us quite a few different options here. One of the first things we want to do is create, we want to edit a plane. So it's this top one right here. It looks like a selection tool. And it's going to give us, or the create a plane, which is the mesh, sorry. We want to go ahead and create a mesh around it. So what you're going to do is take and click the corners of your first plane. And that is going to be telling it what are we wrapping around. If you do your control plus, you zoom in, you want to make sure that you've done a pretty good job doing this. You can always go in and adjust that with your white here at the corner. The more precise and accurate you are at this, the better it's going to look. All right, so I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to do control minus. All right, so I've created one plane. So right now, if I do a control V, I'll get my logo. And if I drag him over, it's going to wrap him onto the side of that. Now, if you notice right now, it's really, really, really big. And I don't want to have it that big. So I'm going to hit my T for transform. I'm going to get my transform handles. And I'm going to hit shift. And I'm going to be able to bring that down a little bit. Still a little bit big, so I'm going to transform him again. So now my dirty cow fits on that one side of the box, which is pretty awesome. Except you'll notice it's only going around one side of the box and I might want it to go around both sides. So I'm going to head and hit my selection tool and hit delete on that guy or cancel. Let's go ahead and cancel out. Let's go to filter, vanishing point, and I want to go ahead and create that mesh again. So I'm going to create it around all four corners. So this time I want to make sure that I get this side as well. So in order to do that, I need to hit control and grab this center box right here, which is, see I get a little square cursor, and I'm going to drag it across. And it's going to help us create another plane. And once again, you'll go in with your, you can go in and adjust that to the corners. Do control plus so I get a better fit. Okay, so now you'll notice my corner up here is a little bit off. I'm going to go ahead and adjust that in a little bit. So the more careful you are before you bring your logo in, the better. Okay, I'm going to control minus. I'm going to do control V to paste. Now we already knew that this is really pretty big, so we can hit our T for transform. I'm going to shift, pull it down make it smaller and we we'll go ahead and drag that onto my element itself. So it's totally up to you as to how you're going to wrap that around this element which is pretty cool. Now if I wanted to I can add another plane. I could take this and hold control bring it up and adjust it across the top so I can play with that there. I can grab my edit tools 
and bring it up and over. So you can see you've got a lot of different options as to how you're going to do this. Um, I generally like just the two. It makes it a little bit easier. Uh, you can control click delete and sometimes it will go away. So when you're happy with it, go ahead and say OK. So now I've got my dirty cow. So it's totally up to you as to how you're going to do that. The trick is once you have put him on there, it's a lot harder to move him around. So you have to kind of be aware of the different elements and how they are positioned on the page. So it's not that you can't do it, it's just a lot easier to do it right the first time. And notice that it's not actually rewrapping, it's only grabbing that part of the layer. So Dirty Cow is still in that perspective. So it's much easier to get it done right the first time than it is to try and go back and do it again later. And that's basics of how to create that vanishing point and wrap something around another element. Say you want a different thing, you don't want a milk carton. There in Canvas there are links to several free product mock-up sites. They may come in with a whole bunch of extra layers, things you may not want to play with. Go ahead, throw those in the trash before you start messing with what you need to create. Go ahead, do File, Save As, First Initial Last Name, Dirty Cow, and save it as a PSD and submit it to Canvas. That's how you play with Vanishing Point.